one Tarkov tip a day till we hit 2.5K. This will be part two of the flea market cogwheel menu. Yesterday we talked about the currency, approximate price from, quantity from, condition from. Let's go ahead and cover the rest as well as some of these options that can be X'd up here. Only show items expiring less than one hour. This is a pretty much useless uh, option. Honestly, not really sure how you would effectively use this option. Remove barter offers. This one's pretty useful if you don't really care about the barter offers that might be available. Sugar's a better example. So you see all of these barter offers, they're not one single offer that's for cash. Selecting this remove barter offers will actually remove all of those barters and the, fir the only things that will show are the ones that are for cash. This filter is especially useful, especially when you have just a ton of barters to try to sift through. This next option is pretty useful as well. Display offers from. So you notice that there's a drop box for this. You got any traders and players. So this is pretty self-explanatory, but when you select just only display offers only from traders, hit OK. It will only show the offers from the that are offered by the traders. And vice versa, if you show the only one offers from the players, it will not show the traders, but it will only show the other PMCs. I typically just leave it on any, because that way I can see exactly which is cheaper. Even if it's barter, or even if it's through a trader barter, or through a PMC just straight up cash. Some of these player barters might actually surprise you too. You know, like they want a whole green or blue key card for one pack of sugar. Uh-uh. No, sir. Show only functional items is next. This one's really useful, especially with weapons. It's kind of similar to the condition from a little bit. So for example, when you don't have this option, this filter selected, you'll see that you get a lot of just uh, basic, the base of a certain white weapon. Now when you have this selected, it will actually just show you the ones that are that are operational. Now say you want to use an empty fuel can for a barter or some sort of crafting in the hideout. Deselecting this option and hit OK will actually pull up all of the zero ones. And those are much cheaper than buying a filled one. Finally we got the remember selected filter. Once you find some sort of combination that you like that you use most often, I recommend selecting this box and just using it from there. Once you do find a filter settings that you do like, now the simple thing to do is just X these same filters out at the top as needed. So Xing this exclude barter offers will actually show me 